Oh. I got a question for you as well. There's one specific fit I want to ask you about. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, Kandora. Yeah. With Nike on it. Ah, I can't lie, bro. I ain't seen that, bro. That concept alone, when I saw it, I was like, damn. <laughs> See, this is this is this is this is all Walid, except when it got to the Kandora and like uh, and the kick. So Walid is like, listen, I want to shoot a Kandora with a Nike T. That's all he said. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that, but this is the beauty that me and Walid has. Like, we have something that people don't have. He speaks something, and when it comes to the fit, I make it happen, and shit looks fire. Welcome back to the OVP, the most significant letters in, in the, the ABC. Yes, Come on, sir. back again with another fire episode. This is your host mm -hmm. speaking, man, like Big Mooks. Am I with who? Man, like D. We are here with a very special guest. Mm hmm. Tell us about yourself. What's up? What's up? This is Nader Flash. What's good? Hey, tell not, me, tell me, tell me. I'm, I'm very excited for this one. Okay. Tell me. You, he's been, he's like, hey. <laughs> he's <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> you got to get into this. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. Let's go. So, my line, Nader, I got a question for you. Tell me, bro. We like to introduce everyone that pulls up to the show to the guests. Okay. Uh, okay. Not the guests, sorry. The audience. The audience, yeah. So, tell me about yourself. Give me a brief introduction. All right. Let me see. Um, where to start from? Where to start from? It's great. <laughs> That's it's like, story. you know, when, when, someone, when someone asks you, like, you, do you want to start, like, should we start with, from where I come from, where I started doing a certain thing? But quick one. I moved to AD in 1995. Mm -hmm. uh, I started playing handball here. Okay. I grew up. This is, I grew up in, in the two most significant, I say, neighborhoods in Abu Dhabi, yeah? That's I grew up in Tours, Tours Club, not Siahi. And then, up. yeah, and from there I went to Khaldia, Khaldia went to Manasseh. So he's from the ends, technically. He's yeah, from the ends. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, I do, uh, I do multiple things right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do about uh, most of it is cultural consultation. I work with a lot of brands, um, I try to support homies. Uh, man, for me, might, it's just trying to move, bring the community forward. He might sound humble, but brother's been working, bro. Yeah, brother, <laughs> work, he's on it, if, bro. If you, um, you know, thank you if you say that. <laughs> but sometimes it's like it's good to get to get acknowledgement, but I think the the best thing is trying to actually push that energy and give it to everybody around. Now, the thing I'll fuck with about Nader specifically is that if you talk to him, you wouldn't he wouldn't mention what he works on unless you ask him. That's true. Some people just be shouting it out, bro. Yeah, like, I mean. Come. Bro, uh, again, as I said before, I think the energy that people have is is better to like push it to people around you, because mm -hmm. if if somebody keeps that like ah oh, I do this I do that I do that and without trying to help people around then bro like don't, don't make no sense point, yeah. Yeah, don't make shit. no sense but now you could see that I, here's the thing I, the thing I fuck with is I feel like you let your action speak rather than you speak for fez, yourself fez. that i think that is i don't know bro it's an old mentality type of thing that i have like like leadership or like a lead before you speak or like the way of leadership or like i'm gonna mm. do and people are gonna see i don't have to talk about it okay uh, it's yeah. like yeah. action rather than words yeah bro that's it so as someone who's been part of this culture for a minute and as someone who's done a lot of events to projects to working with brands i want to ask you about the state of culture in this city in this country as well okay mm -hmm. so let's start with abu dhabi what, what's your takes on the culture of abu dhabi in the creative field all right let's start i think abu dhabi has always been like a very cultural and creative hub for a long time facts facts but yeah. what was what was uh, missing was the support from two ends mm -hmm. the society support Okay, mm -hmm. like like society. At some point, if you were creative, like ten years ago, fifteen years ago, people look at you weird. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, not, not, weird to cut you off. yeah, yeah. not to cut you off. When yeah. did you start? Well, when did I start? Yeah, like doing creative things. Creative things. Oh, honestly, like wow, I, I, it's not long ago. Because from my previous job, I couldn't do anything creative. Fair enough. So if I say the last what four five years, where well, I started really pushing, but okay. before that, I had creative friends and I knew what they were doing. And we're trying to help them as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But it was tough. If you go 10, 15 years ago, bro, people will look at you weird. If you try, this is, let me, let me, let me try, let me get like it. You know, if you try to rap 15 years ago, people will be like, what are, what are you, you do doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Listen, listen to the music, let alone yeah, do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's different now. Yeah, no, you know? There's more acceptance, you know. But then from the other side, there's society. And then you got like also the government uh, and its entities. Mm -hmm. There's now more support. Mm -hmm. They see this while before it was sort of like shun away or maybe, oh, we don't have a lot of these people. That's fine. Fair, fair, but right fair. now, everybody's seen. It's on the front page now. Absolutely. 
Now, you know the thing you mentioned about rap? Mm-hmm. As I was saying, bro, I said on the previous episode, when I, tell, when I used to tell people like my pop's age and people that are way older than me, when I tell them, yo, I make music, they they it's like, it's like, they come no they come with it they come okay, with it okay. yeah they think ah, I'm a singer they think I do the whole thought up thing Pop. as hey, soon madness, as soon as bro. they found out as soon as they ask me what music do you make and I mention hip hop or rap you see the look on their faces they're hey, just disappointed you know what's the first thing you, hey, you do that yo yo bro yeah true I mean you, you can understand it for a bit it's way too gonna say like bizarre to them you know it's it's way out of what they know the norm so i understand it just a bit but i think we're in a good space now yeah no th- gr- thank god man we're well, yeah, blessed, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. blessed. Alhamdulillah, yeah so yeah bro. Alhamdulillah. um regarding the culture now the state of the culture of in abu dhabi as mm-hmm. you were saying it's advanced to a whole different level to the level let's say that you've seen growing up mm-hmm. oh no most definitely yeah i agree with that so Abu Dhabi, let's, let's start from Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, as we said, it was difficult before, it's better now. Um, I've seen f- amazing things in the last year and a half from Abu Dhabi mm-hmm. creatives. Uh, being in art, like art festivals, galleries, uh, doing shows. You know what the crazy part is? You see one of the, um, let me see, one of the biggest thing, things we see on like Arab, Arab media. When I say Arab media, let's say Abu Dhabi TV or Emirat or whatever. So, yeah. yeah. Like most of this work is actually from like cultural guys, you know. Yeah, like facts. Ahmed Carter, Amal Tartu, okay. you know, Shout some out other Carter guys, man. Tartu, Shit, man. Local people talking about Imagine, yeah. imagine, like on the biggest scenes, like it, they even shot for like uh, like some big campaigns, and yo, their homies like mm-hmm. from the culture, from the streets. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So I think um, them they need to be acknowledged, and I think it's been in the, in the works. It's been like in the last seven months. I think people now are acknowledging them more. And this is what I'm dying to see. It's like everybody acknowledging these people that grew up here doing really big things. And this is this nah, just beautiful. Nah. For sure, bro. Like the thing I love as well about, for example, first time I met Carter, mm-hmm. he, will, he came on the most humble thing. Yeah. Like, I met him. It wasn't when we were together. I met him no, in Misa. No. The first day I met him in Misa. I met him day. a while back. Okay. I was still in school. Okay. I used to, I used to know him actually from Freak. Okay, okay. Because uh, he used to show, he used to be a guest on some of the videos that they used yes, to make. Yes, 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 yeah. And I used to look at it, I'm like, man, these guys work. I, I fuck with it. Like, back then, when you go on YouTube, you wouldn't think of going to see someone from the city. True. And they were the first it, people it, to it do that. It doesn't come in mind, yeah. Very true. And then when I saw him, I was like, damn, they really doing something. I fuck with this. And then down the line, you see all those projects, you see all those things that he's working on on his social media sector and i'm just thinking to myself we are so blessed to have such a creative pool of people absolutely like it's not just him it's him tartoub uh there's also leila zayed Kai. yes yes I feel like that's everyone the, that's our generation though more the, or less, you, you know what uh, yeah that's huge but you know what the dope thing that we're trying to like do now is trying to put these two generations together like yes they know each other and some people do like some different projects but the, i think right now we are at a, at a time where we can use the expertise mm-hmm. yet also the new knowledge and like a new feel of the new generation and these things just will make freaking it's not even the kind of i feel like it's the ideas because we yes. grow up differently than true the older version so the older generation so when we kind of do a project they might take it in a different basis let's say for example the classical way whenever you say something the classical yeah. way mm-hmm. we might take it in a different approach true and that both approaches together make a new project for example 100 percent. and the thing i like as well is the fact that mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm coming from a point of view of someone who listens to hip-hop okay mm. The older generation always looks down on the younger. But that's not the <laughs> case here. That's what I love about this place. True. Abu Dhabi is not the case here. I mean, we do have a bit. But again, I think the more like more conversations like this happen. Mm-hmm. So there's, there's, a, there's a, what do they call it? Like there's a knot. And the knot is, um, the as you said, old generation looks at the young people like, ah, they don't know shit. <laughs> and then you got, you got the, the younger generation looking at the older generation. Ah, these old heads don't know what's up now. <laughs> you know? But then there's there is a thing. If once the conversation happened and everything sort of like they, they actually get to know where they're coming from, bro, this knot just gets like it's loose. Kind of, it's and kind just, of like yeah. they need to reach an, an understanding more or less. Yeah. Just have a conversation, you can yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. For the older generation, we need to understand, we need to understand um, the young generation is just leading like what's happening now. And we need to pass the knowledge 
what we had. A torch, you can say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to, not even just a torch. Sometimes you can like, well, pass the torch and mm -hmm. just you cannot just run with it because there are some things that we still have from back in the day that will really lead you where to take that torch. Okay. At the same time, you will use your new knowledge that you have with your younger generation to even maybe take it further. Facts. Doing that, like from both sides, bro, like this is... You will reach a different I've, I've, I've seen it firsthand with some people, like um, within like some projects in Dubai or, mm -hmm. bro, uh, even, even even overseas. Mm -hmm. When these two link, the younger generation, older, bro, it's amazing jobs now. For sure, bro. And like in the end of the day, it's the older generation that paved the way for us. Because as you mentioned, back in the day, obviously not my day, <laughs> but, but, but back in like when you were growing up and you saw the creatives, people would look at them different. But that didn't discourage them. They still kept going on their grind. They still kept doing their thing. True. And that's the reason why it's more accepted nowadays for people to take that route. Exactly. And they don't look at it like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? But it's, I feel like a lot of people had to make it before even it got accepted. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. course. They had to push. Yeah. One of the things we keep saying to people, keep pushing. Keep even pushing. now, we still have some sort of like obstacles and you just keep pushing. And that's just going to come regardless. I even believe that the generation is going to come after mine. They're going to have obstacles too. Absolutely. Well, Each generation will have its own obstacles. And, and nothing comes easy, bro. Obviously, nothing comes easy. But True. Yeah, not for a fact, bro. And the thing that I also want to mention about Abu Dhabi culture is I, I, I'm someone that used to follow Western culture, mm -hmm. hip hop to be more specific, because I'm a hip hop head. I'll be listening to music. I'll be following I, I how the culture goes <laughs> over there. You, One thing I clocked is that, let's say, I'll give you an example, Chicago. Mm. Uh, back when Vic Menso was still coming up, yeah. Chance the Rapper was coming up, there were a few other rappers. You would see Chance the Rapper in Vic Menso's music video. Yes. Not as a feature. Not yeah. as someone who's actually laying bars or anything. It's He's just, just in the background. It's just support. It's just support, literally. Just doing something. Sure. And you would see the same with artists in New York. You see the same with artists in other areas like Detroit. Yes. They all support each other in a way where before they even make it globally, them man are already, they have their own little circle there where they're uplifting each other. True. They're sharing each other's work. They're putting each other on the map. And I feel like the, the place that Abu Dhabi is headed to is that. Which I was about to literally say that nowadays, or at least what I've seen, because I'm pretty new to this industry. If prior to that, I feel like I just lived a normal life, never really tapped into that, or even new people. Yeah. And you remember that day we're doing the Mashawi, if you remember, everyone around yeah. us was a creative. We're sitting around, I remember being, it's more of a sadness, because everyone was doing, there were like 20 people. Okay. Everyone had their own thing. Okay. And you know when you just realize a lot of people are doing something, and I was just sitting there, it's like, why am I not doing something? You okay. get what I'm saying? But what i noticed is everyone was showing love it's like okay well, you're doing this i could do this as well with this i can share i can do this and it was all from a place of love mm -hmm. that's you know what i'm saying that's dope so when you see that it kind of inspires you to do something when it's coming out of love or kind of just connections whatever it may be true and that's no, why true. we created our collective thing like right, shout out to the collective shout out bro. to the yeah, collective hey, hey, bro like, true that? shameless plug but <laughs> 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 what i'm saying is it's like we, the whole mission is of not just us and not just to the collective specifically we're trying to push everyone everyone that's, that's right. doing something that's as you dope. said keep pushing do your thing man we're here to support you we're here to see you reach greater heights because in the end of the day it's a win for the whole city it's not absolutely. just a win for us absolutely like if as you said like how it was in chicago i think this is what you said abu dhabi is trying to do it or like been doing it in a way but i think more acknowledged now and this is what I'm trying to do as well. The same thing you guys want to do, I want to do it on like also push that even further from my end as much mm -hmm. as I can and make people work together, support each other. And as I was talking to some people, sometimes maybe there, will, will, there wouldn't be financial gains. Like there wouldn't be financial gains for anybody. But we got to see sort of the bigger picture. If we really showcase what these creatives from the city can do, mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, everything will just happen. Like, now we have one big event. It could be 10. It could be... Th we can just keep... It could be 10, 5, whatever. But we can keep having projects, mm -hmm. campaigns, events. But we got to show them that are like we are a big city that have amazing creative that are willing to work together for greater good. Yeah, no. That's, that's the message, bro. And, like, the thing I like about all this as well is that we're still in the early stages. Mm-hmm. That's facts. True. So I haven't even started, honestly. The sky's the limit. Sky it can go limit. as far as you can imagine it. True. True. I think one more thing that if I'm going to add, mm -hmm. it's um, it's the, let's say, like our circles of friends that we have. 
we need to talk to them more, more than just even just sharing the show with them. I think on a personal level, when we sit with people, like you're doing your thing, and I'm doing thing, another guy's doing his thing. If we, I call it the, we call it the Arab support, yeah? Okay. We su- support, <laughs> yeah. support from far, you know? The support from far is like, they'll tell you, oh, bro, you're doing amazing, you're doing a good thing, salute, all that. Mm-hmm. Cool. So that's all love. We'll take it in. However, we don't just need to like, because you're posting, you're doing some work. You need to share, you need to save, you need to comment, because mm-hmm. I do digital marketing as well. Mm-hmm. I've done digital marketing and social marketing for like, uh, like this is one of the things I do. Okay. So in, in terms of people getting um, like pushed out there to be seen, all the buttons on freaking IG or Twitter or whatever it is need to be pushed, That's like true. really mm-hmm. big time. Liking is probably the worst thing that can happen to your like to your IG. The number of likes means absolutely zero, nothing to IG. If people just comment and not push like, just comment, it will do so much good for you. Way more than likes. Way more than more likes. likes. I wasn't aware of that, to be honest. I thought it's the opposite. Okay, so yeah, see, this is what we're trying to do. You Now you have, you need, to, you need engagement, you need shares, you need saves. The button save that people like look at like as a, it's a weird thing, like okay. it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. That's a big deal. If, you, if, if your content is saved more and more, that means your content is important, so the algorithm on IG will push it forward. Well, if you, yeah. there's engagement okay, with your I'll comment, en- engagement with your, uh, as in comments or shares, IG will push you forward. This is, you'll get more seen and seen. And this is what we need to do to tell our friends, to tell their friends. When you see the homie post something, share Jeez, this motherfucker. Nice. Everybody. Share, share, comment. Comment. Exactly. And you know what's crazy? All that shit is free. It don't cost you a dime to do and that. This is the support we need. You know, it's free support, but you need to actually just get out of your comfort zone and move your like thump just a bit to the right, bro. <laughs> just press that goddamn button. So easy as that, bro. Yeah, no. Nah, now that you mentioned that, I'm um, I'm gonna make sure I do that more. Cause for me, honestly, I thought it's likes, mm. shares, and comments. The whole save button is something I've I never, never thought even about, thought, never thought, about thought about it. Again, it's like it's uncommon knowledge, but cause I studied that thing like intensively. But again, this is how it works. And sometimes it change, but the buttons it works. Save is the most important. Share is the second one. Comment, comment, comment. and mm-hmm. lastly, com- and lastly, like. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nah, nah. I can't like. So yeah, I'm being I'm being taught <laughs> stuff, you know. Hey, like I'm, he's you dropping man. knowledge on us right <laughs> now. Gotcha, like yeah, y'all gotta take notes, <laughs> viewers. Y'all better listen. Speak. Uh, you got something to say? I was I'm talking about like the culture here or like the industry more or less. What do you think is the next step? What's the next step? Next step. I think we are within the next step right now as we speak. The next mm-hmm. step is up here now. We have a big event that is really highlighting not just the city. But also the region. I mean, uh, it, 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 to be honest, I didn't think it would happen this soon. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe a year or two later. Yeah. But it is it's right here. It's right now. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's not tiptoe about it. What event are we talking <laughs> about? I already know what event <laughs> we're talking about. <laughs> All you right, mentioned yeah. it twice, but I want it. I want it to be sure, said. Sure, we're talking about bread Abu Dhabi. Let's go. Bread presented ah, presented let's by High Beast. Shout out bread. Shout out High Beast. You know, all uh, parties involved. Uh, brought brought to you. Let's let's let like brought to you by DCT. This is so the, the Abu Dhabi Cultural and Tourism mm-hmm. is 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 the main player at that. Brought brag as um the concept builder as the production okay. to the event and high beast is presenting presenting to this event to the world it's not even it, it is i was gonna say to people the video that we've done mm-hmm. is pinned is pinned on high beast beige so you cannot escape it it's you right there at it. the you front every you time see it. <laughs> so yeah man we're right there man. hey speaking of that bro tell me more about bread all right like so I, tell me tell me the concept outside the videos outside the captions okay like expl- imagine I'm someone that knows nothing about it. I sell the and idea I just, to you. And I just heard the idea. Yeah, sell it to me. Tell me what's it about. All right. So a bread, bread is an event that is based on uh, the culture that has been uh, here in Abu Dhabi for quite a while, but hasn't been seen to the world. Okay. Uh, we're talking about uh, street culture, music culture, our food culture mm-hmm. that has been around from, let's say, 10 years plus but hasn't been really shown or had any light to the world. Mm-hmm. And right now, you got new brands, new food, food concepts. Uh, you got uh, new products that have been presented into this event for the first time ever. You know so what that's that. imagine, imagine getting a homie that you've been with school with, just launched his brand, 
and boom, one day he's in a big event presented by Hype Beast and he's all over the social media, you know. This is what we want to see, man. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. And what I love about this is, like you said, it could be someone who's just started. Started. And they're already there. They're already, sh- you're already giving them the platform. Yes. As in, Brett is giving them the platform to showcase themselves. Absolutely. Put themselves out there. Because usually, when you're starting something, you get the beginnings are the toughest part. True. That's first. Financially, even Mentally. motivation. Mentally, 100%. Mentally for Trust sure. Me. Absolutely. Because when you're doing something and you feel like you're not getting the support, you're not getting the numbers you expected, yes. it takes a big toll on you. True. And I think this is like, take your time as well. Take, tell the creatives. All right, before I start that, there's a guy called uh, Marwan on the moon. Shout out Marwan. Shout out Marwan. Follow, follow, follow Marwan on the moon. This is our, his IG. He started the series, and the series is based on emotions that you get out of social media and other social encounters. Mm-hmm. And in in most of his work, he says he's trying to. He, he's actually like speaking for everybody that sort of have these things. Like, if I don't if I don't push forward and I don't have like that much like, maybe people won't see it. But you mm-hmm. know what? He said it right. Like, likes don't validate your work. Uh, the numbers that you see on socials don't validate your work. Yeah, no, for Just sure. keep doing your thing. And people around you, but need, you know what? People around you need to be real with you. Because if your work is sort of like, like not, people now need to tell you, you know what? Yeah, you, people you around you should be like, bro, push it forward. You can do better. Mm-hmm. And things like that. People need to be real with you. Because sometimes you feel, you'll see some people like just giving like fake support or like, oh, I don't want to like, piss off my friend or I don't want to put him down. But you're not mm-hmm. putting your friend down. You tell him, listen, it's cool. But you know, I think you could do better. You see, these conversations, they need to be had. Because if, you, if you're surrounded by people that are just going to tell you yeah, whatever you do is good. It's worse than... True. It's Literally, worse than it's not worse, supporting, yeah, in my worse. opinion. Absolutely. Really good. That's true. That's Even true. the idea like, for example, hate, for example, when someone shows you hate, I feel like it, it shows if you want this as bad. True. Because there's a lot of people I know personally that stopped doing whatever they're doing just because they got, not even hate, just some kind of opinion. Just Bro, a, not even that. Opinion. I know people that before, they had a concept. Before they started, they told it to some people mm. and they just discouraged them. They're like, man, there's a lot of people doing this. The market is saturated with this. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah. You're yeah. wasting your time. And they, I actually know someone. Mm. Fully, that f- had a great idea. He scrapped it fully before he even started. He hasn't recorded the first video. He hasn't done nothing. And I see. Just I mean, based on people. I mean, it's it, listen. It's it's hard. It's hard. You need to have a certain resilience in your mind, freaking, to bash over everybody's yeah, mindset sure. to actually go. And this is where you need some friends. Sometimes we are not all built alike you know of course you'll have someone that's so creative but he doesn't have that resilience Mm -hmm. so if someone within that circle is resilient he will just help him like push through but that's what's friends for bro yeah no for sure what i said about the whole we're sitting we're doing the mashawi and whatnot Mm -hmm. i had so many ideas for example it might not have been great Mm -hmm. but i never tried i never gave it that time to kind of do something you know what i'm saying so when i saw everyone doing their own thing i was like why not me try something no, um, this how this literally this whole thing came up. Well, this is th- that's how it's supposed to be, man. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Like, like, trust me, it don't do something you love. Don't do it for the numbers. Don't do it for the likes. Do true. it because you enjoy doing it. That's fact. True, and true, true. When you enjoy doing something, it, you won't care about the numbers. I'm not gonna lie. Even if you're doing it for something else, push it. Push it, regardless yeah. of the reason. Push it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So yeah, man. I mean, bread is gonna be. Uh, Honestly, so this is what I need people to focus on. Like, it's, this is the first event. So, um, for me, I don't care how it's going to look. It's dope as it is right now. Uh-huh. But there'll be bread version two, three. Four. Oh, we we, we will be, it will be going. And this is the thing. Like, people need um, to know that they need to show up. Like, if you know Abu Dhabi and some creative from Abu Dhabi is there, then Abu Dhabi needs to show up. Yeah, All people, no, for sure, for like sure. holla, holla like your dad and everybody. Like, listen, just go, come through. Like, I don't know. <laughs> holla, holla <laughs> people, just bo- pull up, man. Yeah, just, the whole you know. Up, bro. The I whole mean, family, bro. the more the more people we get there, I think the more uh, um, the more like Abu Dhabi culture and tourism and other, not only Abu Dhabi culture tourism knows that that there's people, but the social support within the community we have is increase so, for sure. Sometimes it lacks, you know. But mm-hmm. I hope with this one is going to be up there. Yeah, I, I already know I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't decided Respect. with 
what days I can make it. Hey, we, but I'm we, definitely going. I hear all every day, bro. Okay. Every single day. Bro. Excellent. I got holidays at the time, so we go, we go, bro. We <laughs> go. No, dope, dope. That's amazing, man. But nah, man. The thing that one more thing that I want to mention is when it comes to this culture. We we made the culture, not we as in me, but we as in the creatives. Yes. Even not just the creatives, even the people around us. Like when you think about it, there are some things that us three can relate to that someone, let's say, who's in a different country would understand. True. From terms, words we say, like so Marwan mentioned in the yeah, last exactly, episode, is like yeah. when freak in one of the songs like Jibel Aid. Yes. That's something we'll understand, but no nobody one outside else will understand. Yeah, nobody else Here will and some places in the GCC, that's about it. And that's, Pretty much. That's, that's it. That's culture. That's yeah, something that's in the something culture. To be Absolutely. Proud of as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we need to put it. Bro, we need to put a flag, a banner, everything. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking about bread, should I go? Should I, you better come, man. You better come. We ain't playing games. No, <laughs> I'm blocking you if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, it will be, it will be dope. On, on multiple like levels, you know, from music to, to That's art. That's what I was about to mention because I, I yeah. missed it when you guys were talking about it. Yeah. It's not one thing. No, it's not one it's thing. It's multiple levels and it's the type of thing, all ages, yes. everyone from everywhere is going to have their own thing. Absolutely. Gonna like. Absolutely. Can't lie, bro, I'm not leaving the music section. <laughs> I'm going to be there uh, all so, day. So it, it will be dope. So you, you'll have like certain DJs that you've met, some certain DJs from a certain level they'll be playing. So music will be throughout the whole event. Mm-hmm. So between the between the DJs and the artists that are gonna be there, there are gonna be two stages, I think, uh, main stage and then a small un- amphitheater thing, and they'll have people on it. They got people from the region, international artists. Uh, now nah, this is it's gonna be f- this is one angle, and then just trying to tell you the other like international brands and local brands that are gonna be there as well. It's it's gonna be good. Oh man, man's gas for I'm this. I'm there for right. the food. I'm there for the food, brother. <laughs> I mean, food is up there, bro. For me, Trust food is me, number man. two. I'm right there for the food, bro. Bro, I, I don't even. When you, when I think about it, I'm like, there's so many avenues to explore over there. Like, there's food, there's music, there's art. fashion, art. there's art, there's sports. Like, where do I go? Where should I go? And that's why there's five days, yeah. So yeah, a day for each. Is, is <laughs> it like a day me? for each, or like no, no. It, all of these functions will be on like on five days. Okay. So yeah, just come through. If you get, right. I, for me, I say to people, get the ticket like that takes you to five days because there's gonna be after parties after each mm-hmm. event. I will put the link on the description for the event itself. So click a link by all five days. If you cannot hit me up, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> Man, say, I'll, I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Man, say, I'll be, I'll be a sugar papa. Right, I'll, I'll I plug you, you in. I'll plug you in. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, but anyways, anyways, there's something else I want to speak to you about. So having a- anyone that's looked through your IG mm. and in general, when I met you, bro, you're a drippy guy. No, I ain't going to lie. Appreciate man. that. That's facts, bro. You be coming through with the drip. So I want to ask you, bro, what, what inspires you to go for these looks? Like, was it something that you were just born with? Or is it some? F- or was it one of them times you're like, okay, you know what, I could step it up when it comes to fashion. Like develop your- Ah, that's a good question, bro. Shit. Cause, bro, I saw, I saw that's one of your a, posts. That's, that's a good question, bro. Like I'm trying to think now. Technically, you're trying to say, were you bro. drippy your whole life? <laughs> <laughs> I got people to confirm. Probably, I don't know. Like, I think uh, from from my crew, like shout out to the crew, you know. Shout they out, they know out. what's up. Willie, Jay, Ebi, Ali, you know these guys know what's up. Like, I think. Um, it's 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 a thing that we had, you know. Like you got, bef- I think just for us, like be fresh. That's it. There was no, uh, how can I say, ah, oh, like what brand do you wear? And all like it's just just be fresh. I think it's fashion is not the brand. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's never about the brand. It's, it's, a, it's not about the brand. It's about how you put it together. You know, Loki. I'm not even fresh. thinking that. Loki. I have a question. Do you think it's okay? Fair enough. It's how you put it together, but is it the confidence? Because I've seen some weirdest outfits, but it's just how you put yourself out there. I think confidence is a big part. Like you gotta be comfortable in what you have on. Like really wearing it for you more than wearing it for anybody right, else. Right. I think once you have that, shit is fresh the whole time. Exactly. Yeah, no, nah, facts. So yeah, I mean, like some of these shoots, bro. Like honestly, some Walid, shout out to Walid, bro. Walid that takes the shots, yeah. Shout um, out Walid. So Walid got, gets more most of the concepts most of the time. So what he th- when he thinks he's like, listen, we're gonna shoot right there. What I do is I leave my house, go to the laundry, my sh- my shit is all, always in the laundry. I go, okay, I pick up everything in the laundry, like I put it in the back. Well, it's like, it's like, we'll shoot here. So actually each outfit is picked on the spot because we don't plan it. Like, what are you going to wear? Like, this is what we're going to wear to dip. Let's go. 
That's it. If it's fresh, fresh. For me, it's always fresh. For other people, always, hey. yeah. all I'm it always fits, bro. I got a question for you as well. There's one specific fit I want to ask you about. So, mm-hmm. It was a uh, Kandora. Yeah. With Nike on it. Ah, I can't I, lie, bro. I ain't seen that, bro. That concept alone, when I saw it, I was like, damn. See, this is this is this is this is all Walid, except when it got to the Kandora and like uh, and the kick. So Walid is like, listen, I want to shoot a Kandora with a Nike tee. That's all he said. <laughs> I'm like, okay, done. But this is the beauty that me and Walid has. Like, we have something that people don't have. He speaks something, and when it comes to the fit, I make it happen, and she looks fire. Mm-hmm. She's like, I want to shoot at this location. I'm like, okay, let's go. I get there, and he's like, he doesn't know which tee I have. He's like, just the Nike tee. He's like, all right, shoot. And I told him, this will go. He's like, bro, he's like, this is more than perfect. And we shoot. <laughs> and you know when we shoot, because we don't know what's going to look. I was like, the sun is going down, and we shoot. And I see him jumping, he's like, fuck, this is so fire. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, so we look at him like, yo, shit, this is even looks better than we Wait, both thought. Yeah. And yeah, shit like that, bro. Yeah, that's nah, a bro Nike and Kondora are things I never imagined in the same place. But yeah, that one but just it, 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 worked, it, it worked, it worked. Bro, if you, you haven't seen the post, have I haven't, you? I was asked bro, when you see it, bro. <laughs> You know what? Do you mind if we just put a picture of it? Yo, yo, go right here. It's going to be somewhere here. It's going to be somewhere here. Bro, because that, that fit alone, when I saw it, it's just, it, it threw me off. It's, like, it's, it's, missing, it's missing the, what do you call it? The yeah. Nike Naal. That's yeah. about it, literally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, it's like, it's like in a way, it, it also captures like uh, a lot of my, uh, like, I said, like my childhood or my, my, my young years probably is like me, I'm, I'm Emirati. I'm fully Emirati, yeah? Mm-hmm. And for the longest time, my mom was begging, he's like, why are you not wearing Kondora? I'm always, bro, even if I go to school back in the day, <laughs> when I go to school, so you used to wear Kondora back, back in the day, okay. you go, this is like uniform. Yeah, that was the uniform, innit? So under my Kondora, bro, I had shorts. I was ready to bowl or play football, bro. Like, I was ready. So wait, you weren't one of them man that takes the Kondora off. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. <laughs> play like that and you play, man. It's a, it's a holiday. So my, and then once I'm back from school, I'm always in like either trackies, shorts. I'm always like that. Mm-hmm. My mom, my mom hates it. <laughs> Why are you wearing Kandor, bro? Why are you wearing Kandor? To the point, so that really expressed like I love Kandor. I really value Kandor for me. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I'm like, I like wearing it at certain occasions because it carries weight to me. So I'm like, that post like in, ca- captures me like in, in both. Like where I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm a Marathi. I do, um, I have my street shit like on, on, on that wow, level. Literally. Yeah, and then just putting it together and be like, bro, this is just perfect, man. Nah, you know what's the thing about Kondoras as well? Kondoras is one of them fits that work for every occasion you can think of. True that. You can wear a Kondor to a casual thing. You can wear it to a wedding. You can, there's a Kondor for every occasion. True. For real, bro. It, it, technically, it might not be the same thing, but there's one for sleeping. Let's say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might not be called the same thing, though. Absolutely, yeah. Like, bro, that, that's something like, I just clocked this now while you were talking, by the way. <laughs> I didn't think about this. I was just thinking, you know what? I know some of my friends, like, they be wearing Kondors. So it works at every single occasion. Bro, it, it is. It is. It does work. I think that the, the, the culture or the country have made it, like, this is what they wear everywhere, every time, so... I get that. Like the fact it also works for business formally. That's that. true. But strong man, strong look. Yeah. If you know, if if, if you're tight with Kandora and bo- and Gotra bo- Gal like in the right way. Yeah. Right. Man, yeah. now one more thing, one more thing. We we already in fashion. Yeah. Let's dip All into right. the kicks, bro. All right. This See this topic, something. Right? <laughs> this is a topic I love, bro. All right. Because when it comes to kicks, bro, I'm one of them guys. I might not be copping a lot. But I'm always on the website, just looking through kicks. Best thing. Following the Instagrams, the people that be posting new kicks, concepts. Okay. So how did you get into that, bro? All right. Because I remember one, at some point in time, yeah. the freshest kicks, at least to me and him, at some point were Supra shoes. Hey. The Hammond Center Supras, DCs. Super. No, but see, Supras, we, 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 we had Supras. Yeah, everyone Everybody had Supras. Had them. Everybody had, had them. In like red a, and black and yellow. If you, Literally. If, you, if you're about, like, if you're about, one thing, if you're about hip-hop or you're about being fresh, Supras in 2010s, Ooh. up there, bro. Bro, I remember I used to save up my allowance for months mm. just to go to Ham Center and cop that Supra. One iconic one was the, what was that jeans called? The one with the P. Uh, the one with Platform the or something. Wow. Oh. That's an iconic one. You see, that's what, this is going what? back a long time. For the big mans as well? Come on, bro. This, this is going back a long time. Okay, there's even the New York era, the, the, hat, the flat okay. caps. I mean, New, New York and Fitted, that's been there for like, God, so long. I mean, it's, been, it's doing a comeback right now. Yeah, but back then, bro, 
this is all where like if you don't pull up on Eid with a new hat <laughs> a new super kick <laughs> and some yeah, Eid gotta be like that absolutely but you know what when I got to, how did I get to the kicks man it's, that's crazy I'm probably talking about um, probably my dad so my dad is in the Air Force mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll go back to I'll go back to right you know in 1994 95 so he travels he goes comes back Somehow I see new kicks, and I love every shoe that he gets from. I didn't know. I don't know if he was like really into kicks, but it, or he just wanted kicks. Mm-hmm. And one of the kicks, probably the, some of the homies will remember this. It used to call, be called uh, La Coque Sportive. La Coque Sportive is a is a French brand. Yeah. Okay. They're still producing kicks. It's it's not seen in the hype scene, but they're fire. Okay. So I remember my dad getting some, and I remember wearing these, and obviously me as an eight-year-old or whatever, like nine, I'm like, oh, like, this is fire. I go wear it, and I play football, yeah? Go down the street, play football, guys, bring it back. And your pops you probably whipped, beat you, you up, bro. Listen, my dad doesn't know, because he wears them and just goes. Okay. And I think one of the first kick that, like, really got me into the whole thing, it was 90, it was uh, Air Max 95s. Woo! And that was, and I'm talking, so I'm talking... Not long when the 95s when Brazil, they came out in, in 1995. Mm-hmm. I think 1996, my dad had a pair, and I was like, I'm looking at it. Wow, wow this is mad. <laughs> like, this is crazy. So, from then, anyways, I played handball as well. So, I was always in kicks. Mm-hmm. I, was, I played in Al Jazeera club for like Mashallah. about 13, 14 years. So, you go to a club, you wear kicks. You go to, the, to school, you wear kicks. It was just a part of my life until I think. The first time when I got my own salary, like, was, dude, like that was 2002, okay? I got my, my first paycheck, you know? You must have been gassed as well. Bro, listen, oof. I mean, yeah, the, it's the thing. The first thing I want to do is buy kicks. The first thing, before phone, before anything else, kicks. Kicks. <laughs> and I got, and I got uh, uh, Adidas crazy ones, these called Adidas Kobe's one. Okay. Almost are too probably like jumping right now with Habu. Like, <laughs> shit, shit, we know this shit. And uh, Air, Ma- Air Max 95s, um, Juventus. They, Juventus had a colorway. Oh, they called it Juventus because it was black and white. And they had the like, just a hit of yellow stripes. Mm-hmm. I remember these two. These are the first two kicks I bought. That was like 2002, bro. So from then, you talk, it was then. This was crazy when I tell it to people, like, we were doing this, like, back then. And back until then. now, for me, it's just a thing. It's a part of me I cannot get rid of. Now, you know what's crazy? Like, the 95s, the 97s, the 98s, all of them, I was not aware that they came that they came out them times. Yeah. Yeah. I only found out recently, I'm like, yo, they back in fashion now? Because, like, four years ago, when I was uh, studying abroad, mm. in the UK, if you don't have a pair of 97s, 97 for 95s or ones yeah or even 90s bro 90s yeah yeah. but the 90s wave died and then when i was there it was 97s if you don't have a pair of 97s you're yeah. dead that was about four years ago true and like ever since i wore the 97s it just has a special place for me okay. so my question to you is the 95 is that what 95s are to you <sighs> yeah 95s are always a big part of me bro i cannot like it's one of the things like if i find for me 95s about colorways Mm-hmm. Okay, if I find like right colorways, I'm always buying 95s. It's, it's, it's like, if I say there's top two silhouettes for me ever made, yeah. ever made, it will be 95 and Air Jordan 4. Okay, yeah, Jordan 4. Everything yeah. else in the world. I do love Air Forces though, so I don't know, man. They're up there, up there, up there as well. It's a, it's a classic somewhere there, but 95s and 4s. Now, I know what it is. I feel like, for me personally, I feel like the Air Max series. It's just that for me, when I look at it, it's totally different mm. to every other kick that you can imagine. Like Air Forces, you could see you could see it being more or less done with other brands. Yeah, true. Um, okay, fair enough, yeah. Jordan 4 is all their own thing. They're oh, special. Yeah. They're special. Ooh, I was just talking to you before the episode. My eyes are on the black cats. <laughs> I'm going to get them somehow. I don't know how I'm, I'm going to get them. Bro, in 2000, 2005, the first time the black cats came out, we were struggling down here because 2005, we barely had no Jordans dropping here except the Fusions. <laughs> Some movies would go back and see, well, what are you talking about Fusions? Fusions were like an Air Jordan, uh, Air Jordan top with an Air Force sole. Huh? Yeah, oh, bro, you gotta you gotta look oh. that up. So it would be. Some jo- so it would be like imagine Air Jordan Four, yeah. Wait, is that an official thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's called AFJ Four. So okay. Air Force Jordan Four, mm-hmm. and it would be 
Edge Runner 4 with an Air Force Soul. That's, they've, be, they've done these with uh, 3s, 4s, 5s. Bro, they've done the whole line, if I'm not mistaken. When was that? Them 8s. I'm talking about 2000 and... Uh, three to two. No, wait, wait. Two thousand. Like oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's from two. Th- <laughs> it's two thousand five to two thousand and twelve. Uh, I must have been about six years old. <laughs> Bro, this shit was mad for me. I was fire back then. I was like, well, oh, this is the only job you can get. And so yeah, two thousand five. For the people that were there back then, you open and we were. So there was no IG. It was barely YouTube. Was it YouTube? 2005? Facebook, it wasn't even YouTube, know. bro. Facebook, that's about it. Probably Facebook. No, wait. Facebook was there? Not even Facebook, bro. It was crazy. It was mad. MSN. Hey. MSN, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, the only, so the only way to know about kicks is to... It's either the homies will talk about it and send each other like foes, mm-hmm. like through email or MSN. Hey, or, or you go through magazines. Or you go through magazines and magazines will be uh, Slam, East Bay. East Bay was the big one. East Bay had all the kicks. And again, it's just talk. And we had nikitalk.com. That was, that was the, the blog. If you want to know anything, anything kicks, about kicks, it was called there. nikitalk.com. You go on there and you just see people talking about kicks, posting photos. That's the only thing we But the problem is we didn't have Jordan back then. We didn't have Nikes. We only, mm-hmm. I don't know, we didn't even have Foot Locker. I'm not even sure. At back then, I yeah, don't, I don't even so. know. We had Foot Locker. We had, the first Foot Locker opened in freaking Wadham Mall, bro. This yeah, how, I this how we recent. Yeah. The first extension Foot Locker. as well. It was an extension as well. Even that, it's the ego. So that was mad. It was. So that's recent. I mean, we still had Sun and Sand. We had some other shops that still had to sell. But I feel like they're more catered towards uh, basketball and football shoes. Not necessarily. Or we running did, shoes. I mean, we did have the basketball shoes, but again, you're talking like performance basketball shoes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, and but you wanna what? If I go back early 2000s, performance basketball shoes were, were mad. They were mad good. <laughs> they were mad good as uh, well. You know what was crazy? When man was young, I, at that ass, bro, I used to think wearing a football shoe is drip. The dri- hey, I'll be wearing them, jeans yeah? and like some Mercurials or CTR 360 or some football shoe. And I'd be like, yeah, no, they're going to love this <laughs> one. With a little shirt as well. Yeah, hey, yo. I mean, listen, it is really, I, I, I remember even days, but again, this is the thing, that is somehow part of, like, I'll say Abu Dhabi culture. Like, if you play, if you play football, having football shoes on your feet is something. It was drip back then, you could say. It was, it was, it was drip, you know, bro, if you play drip. football, football on, on your feet, like, we had, uh, we had Sambas, Sambas, I need the Samba that is coming, yeah, Samba, that's yeah. coming mad right now. Mm-hmm. It used to be football shoe, bro. Everybody had in school, they play football with it. Yeah, it wasn't nice. even, yeah, so... That's- a lot, a lot of shoes like they turn from like Jordans. That's the best example. True. It used it came out as a basketball as shoe. It became, yeah. And now you can if someone wears Jordans to a basketball court, people look at him like, "What are you doing?" Uh, exactly. I mean, it's that's a nice a, that, yeah. You know, it's it's a crazy part. I get it from a certain from a certain from a certain angle. Like there are like you can still ball with good elevens, sixes, yeah, sevens. Sure. You can ball. One's not so much, two's not so much, threes you can ball. Like the fact that Jordan was dropping their points in ones, even back then, like, yeah. it's crazy. I know, bro. So, yeah, man, I mean, kicks is kicks, it's just a part of uh, the DNA right now. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this conversation, I'm not a kick guy personally, so this conversation is going left for man. <laughs> hey, yo, but I, th- I want to mention one last thing about kicks, and I want to get your opinion on this. Mm-hmm. I feel like with kicks, waves come and die, waves come and die, true. Like, as we mentioned, the super wave. Was there for a long while, then died. True. DC, same thing. Vans, Converse. Hey, Vans was a little all bit. of them came up f- one by one, and then they all fall. But the one that I still see always dominating the market, mm. it's the same, bro. I ain't even got to say it, bro. Forces? It's a check. Oh. It's a check, bro. Uh, it's true, true. I mean, if you're talking about the Forces, or are you talking about the Jordans? I'm talking about, uh, no, Forces. Forces? I'll say Forces, yeah. For forces, sure. I think it's like... A- when it comes to white on white, it's just you know when for I don't know how to say it, like imagine having like a kandora, a fresh a fresh naal is like always fire, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fresh sandals will be fire. It's just it's, white force is just the cleanest thing you can have. I feel like the closest thing to white force is a kandora. It works for every occasion. Yeah, bro, it works every, <laughs> every occasion. No, absolutely works. Every, you can freaking if you are fresh, you can wear this on a suit. You can wear it on a kandora. You can wear it on shorts. You can, yo, know, it's endless. It's literally so classic that even the dirty virgin was a jerk for a while. Bro, that no, that was mad. No, no, I'm not no, with that. Something, but I'm talking about like to some people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was yeah. something like a movement or something like that. You I know mean, that? I mean, listen, that dirty forces. I mean, <laughs> I bro, get even crease forces. <laughs> I'll be looking at you like, 
like, is a bit mad. I be, bro, have you ever seen me with no, with no forces? I'll be walking like a penguin, bro. Like, I ain't trying to crease him. I saw this brother laying tissues when he's walking, bro. Nah, madness. <laughs> madness. I mean, listen, this, if, 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 if having like dirty forces because you're chilling in the hood or whatever, but if you're going to see people, for me, not even dirty forces, if you have any dirty shoe, it's a foul, man. You gotta be fresh. Be fresh. Yeah, I went as well. Thing, thing, yeah. You know, if you're fresh, then you gotta be fresh. Um, don't give me that dirty shit. This is just nah. Clean your shoes. Or it's then, simple, man. It's literally the whole thing. You can buy it off Amazon. It's so available now. Oh, easy. Easy. Literally clean your easy. Oh, just sit in there. You know, it's therapeutic. This thing is therapeutic. Just do it. Shout out where Mark, man. They got, <laughs> they got the nice cleaning kit. Yeah, you hooked me up, bro. You well, like, turn them on. They give you the brush, the easy. foam, the white, the towel. You're good, man. Nice, man. I mean, listen, if you do that, actually, the kicks live longer when you do that. If for you sure, actually stay sure. on cleaning kicks, like, stay for years. Yeah, not for sure. Like, I, I had a pair of Air Forces. That I really liked and I couldn't find. They survived like two years, old, man. Because man was two taking years is a bit long, care. Not gonna lie. You know what? They must be dying too fast, fam. In two nah, years. Bro. That's good. I mean, if you wear them not, all day, not every, every day, day, obviously. Okay. okay. I will be cleaning them every time I wear them. Dope, man. <laughs> Fair enough, it should yeah. be that way. I see. This is one of the things I said to people. The more kicks you have, they actually, the the longer they can stay. If you have two kicks, bro, yeah, they'll they'll die, faster, bro. Yeah. yeah. If you have more kicks, you can just rotate through the kicks and that's it. Be easy, yeah, nah. pretty much. Yeah, it's about staying. It's fresh. like clothes, in it. You can't wear the same T-shirt every day. Uh, well, this shit would disintegrate in the fire. <laughs> uh, I, I got speak- a washing machine though. Speaking, of, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of disintegration, even like people that be buying kicks and leaving them hanging for a while. Have you seen that thing where if that you leave to kicks, kicks happen to yours? Happened to few, yes, unfortunately. It's the thing. What are you talking about? I didn't get so it you see, if you buy kicks, <laughs> yeah. so like some people are just collectors. Mm-hmm. They yes. don't wear what they buy, mm. and they keep it. I'm, I'm not talking one year. I'm not talking two years. I'm talking eight, five, close ten to years, a decade. Man. Okay, true. Uh, they end up taking it out of the box or taking it out of wherever they store it. You see the soul crumbles. The soul, it will crumble. It decays if like a so. cookie. Yes, it happens to a lot of the kicks that are like the older kicks. I mean, it's 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 a uh, it's a product of how do you store your kicks? Some of us don't. You cannot control the temperature, humidity in the room, all of that. Some people know how to do this. Some of the people even like wrap their kicks, you know. Okay. But uh, for me, I wear all my kicks. But sometimes you forget about some kicks. Yeah, for sure. You know, Especially sometimes you have to, to, to so, yeah. more or less. Sometimes you forget about certain kicks and they're just there, and you're like, ah, oh, just keep them there for a while. No, sometimes you have two pairs, mm-hmm. so you be wearing one pair mm-hmm. until you say, until this one falls apart. I'll wear the second I'll pair. The and way. then you come to the second pair and the second pair falls about. I had a few, unfortunately, but again, that's, that's yeah, what happens. Rest in peace to the kicks. Eight years, though. Rest in Bro, peace. Bro, eight, ten years. I have, I have kicks for like, one of the kicks I have now, not one, but a couple that are like 15 years plus. That's a vintage mm. thing. Like, right. But you're, you're collecting them. Is that like a collector? Or like I wear a them. I like, I'm saying, people say collector. I'm, I'm more of, just, just a sneaker to... lover, sneaker head. I just wear my things, and I don't understand collectors personally. I, I'm talking about myself. I but understand then again, it, but I don't at the same time. Collectors is it's 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 a thing, but it's Like you collect art, some people collect shoes, some people collect stamps, coins. It's just the same thing. Mm-hmm. But but see, it's like okay. Pokemon cards. Some people just be collecting them. Absolutely. But it's like I feel like art, you can zoom by looking. But the shoes as well, they they have that. If you, I think if you get into it so much, it beca- okay, fair enough. It becomes if you get into it so much, you'd be like, Ooh, I gotta have that. It's just. You know what? If I have the capability of buying most of the shoes, I, I like I put my I'm like, oh, this is fire! I'll, sh- I'll have I have thousands by now. But I, I have to stop myself at some point and be like, <laughs> just buy what you think is like not gonna happen again, or like a colorway that is like so phenomenal that I'll be like, I gotta have that. But if I had the choice and the space, I'd be buying probably so much kicks each year. Nah, I can't lie. I hear that. I know he's gonna do it. <laughs> I sure. hear that. I That's the first thing he's gonna do when he makes it, bro. I told you, bro. My first pay. You know what? I spent my first paycheck on, bro. I know, I know. Yeah, bro. I get you, man. I mean, listen. Two this days he went broke, bro. <laughs> Instant, bro. Listen, this is the this is a cycle of learning when you get the first check. You know, first couple of checks, you be like, pop, 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 buy. New phone, new this, new that. And then at some point, like, ah, oh, shit. You take the boys out, you know. You gotta do that, you yeah, know. Man, take man. the boys out, you know. No <laughs> worries. Shut up, man. <laughs> It's been a minute, bro. Ah, been, I already, already Yusuf knows about it. I'm planning oh, a little something. Yeah, we'll chat about it, bro. See? But, I mean, yeah, you, you will learn, I guess. Enjoy your time, like, when you're young, bro. Do what you do. When the bills come and things, you'll be ready. Yeah, no, facts. At work, bro. Anyways, 
Uh, it's been a pleasure having you. Man, Mander. I'm honored, bro. Like, honestly, honestly thank bro. You. For real, honestly. This, this episode is love, man. something I've been looking forward to. I appreciate it, brother. And I'm glad you're here. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Yes. You don't see Nader Flash, the tag over him. Big Mooks, man like D. Bread as well. You're going to see everything the cow, in the description. Right? Yes. Be on the lookout. Stay tuned, man. Support the man then, bro. Much love for coming. Love. Been a pleasure. Same, Same here, man. This is the OVP. The most yeah. significant letters in, in the, the ABC. ABC. That's it, bro. Hey, shout out.